the RTX 4060 is one of the most hyped potential launches for 2023, with everyone hoping to get a powerhouse GPU at a price that doesn't suck. All this excitement has created a lot of speculation, which has brought to light a lot of theories and concerns for this new potential GPU. But have no fear, I've gathered up all this information to one shiny little package for you, so grab your Baby Yoda salt shaker and let's get into it. Let's start with the fun stuff first, and that's all the specs, or at least the theorized specs of what everybody's saying is going to be. So I've basically taken all the rumors, all the theories, all the alleged leaks, and I've compressed them down into the most likely scenarios or the averages based on theories, etc. So this is going to be the most probable projections of what we're actually going to see. The 4060 expects to have approximately 3800 CUDA cores, give or take, all running at a base clock of roughly 2300 megahertz with a boost clock of around 2500 megahertz. It's estimated to have roughly about 30 ray tracing cores with up to 120 tensor cores. So here's where this is starting to get a little interesting. Everyone's expecting it to have 8 gigabytes of GDDR6, not GDDR6X, but 8 gigabytes of GDDR6, which isn't bad, but it's again, it's potentially going to show its limitations with this generation and moving forward. And this is all expected to be run on a 128 bit bus. Another potential limitation or downside, which is again, it's hard to pin down because this could very drastically change between now and launch, just like the theorized potential loads for the 4090, but they're expecting this 4060 to have the potential power draw of a 3070 or more in fact, which is what I saw is more people expecting it to actually draw more than a 3070. Now on paper, this looks very similar to a 3060 Ti. But when you combine all the new you know, features and the new architecture, it could potentially hit a 3070. Its potential performance is 15 to 20 teraflops, which again is a pretty drastic swing because that's 3060 Ti to 3070. Now where this can take a really hard left turn is what we're expecting the price to be. With everything 40 series pretty much having a premium price tag because of that four apparently is really expensive to put on the GPU, we really don't know, but here's what's being theorized so far, and it's not pretty depending on your perspective. Everyone's theorizing the 4060 is going to be between four and five hundred dollars. That's if they launch a 4060 Ti. If they don't launch a 4060 Ti, you could probably see that 4060 have a increased value because it's got more room to wiggle, so that 4060 could jump up beyond that five hundred dollar mark. And how do you think NVIDIA is going to justify that? Well, because they're doing a 4050 and maybe a 4050 Ti. They'll start cutting it down further. But here's the problem. Even at $400, the 4060, if it performs like a 3060 Ti, go buy a 3060 Ti for potentially less, even more so if it's used. Or better yet, right now, 3070s, again, if you can find one when this launches, they're selling used for about 350, 400 bucks, 450 on the high end for specific models, but you can buy a used GPU that performs the same for potentially cheaper, depending again on what it launches at. So when are they expected to launch or announce the 4060? Potentially a quarter two, quarter three announcement with a launch most likely in the later half of 2023, They'll probably drag it out and delay it up until right before the holiday season to maximize sales before the holidays. Now, again, I'm hoping this pricing is wrong because the card itself, the performance, again, for 4060 being a 3060 Ti or 40, or sorry, 3070 competitor isn't a bad thing because those are both really good cards, but they have to compete on price. And if Nvidia does not compete on price versus their last gen, then that really sucks for us as a consumer because regardless, people are going to buy it because it has a four instead of a three and it's newer, it's better, even though you can buy something previous gen that'll probably outperform it. But they're going to do it and it's just going to create a trend because until AMD and Intel start fighting back harder, Nvidia is just going to do whatever they want to do. And again, hopefully they actually do a good guy move and don't do this and hopefully the 4060 will not be any more than $400. I think that's still kind of pricey for the performance, but you know what? I'm willing to take that versus it being upwards of $500. Because again, they're going to try to justify it by releasing a 4050 for probably 350 bucks or 300, which I think 300 is probably hopes and dreams on a 4050 to be honest. But 
we can hope, right? So do me a favor, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Check out this video. And uh, yeah, please hit that like subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one.